So guys, flowchart is one of the main element in PowerPoint. And this video is going to be how to create a flowchart in PowerPoint. First, we'll understand that what is flowchart and how it is helpful and why we need it. So hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Funders Global. This is the 16th video in this PowerPoint course. And in this video, we will talk about flowcharts. We'll show you the flowchart creation process by making one. So let's get into the video. So guys, let's just start this slideshow and I'll make you understand about flowchart and what is the importance of flowchart in our industry. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. Okay, so the first and the main question is what is flowchart? And the first point is a flowchart is a type of diagram that represents a workflow or process. So yes, as you can see here, this is a small uh, example of flowchart and it is like a diagram, okay, that represents a workflow, a step-by-step -step workflow process that helps industries or that helps companies to work in a perfect manner so that they don't forget something which is important in their uh, industry right let me go to the next point as i have already told you it is a step by step process to solve a problem let's say you are a company you are a, a bike manufacturing company okay so you need a step by step process in order to create or in order to make manufacture bike right and if you forget something then your the end product will be disaster so you need a step by step process in order to create or in order to manufacture the bike properly and flowchart helps to do that uh, the third point is it also used in offices and companies so yes uh, uh, the flowchart is widely used in offices and companies these days and the last point is today mostly computer programmers used flowchart to write their codes obviously uh, computer programmers uses flowchart in order to create or in order to write their codes on a systematically way so this is a small description uh, about flowchart i hope you got the point okay now there are some main shapes in flowchart okay it is not like uh, you use any type of shape and any type of design it's not like that there are some predefined shapes which uh, denote something okay let me show you so this is the first shape and this is uh, this is just a rectangle but with a rounded corners okay so this is a main thing with rounded corners okay rectangle with rounded corners denote start and end okay you have to keep in mind then we have process and this is also a rectangle but with edged corners okay and this shows or this denotes process then we have one more thing this is a diamond like design and this denotes decision okay also you don't have to confuse here because uh, we'll show you how you can use these shapes to create a flow chart okay and there's one more it is uh, i guess it is trapezium and it denotes input or output okay then this is like a podium or you can say a platform sh shaped picture and it denotes storage so these are some main shapes in flowchart but we do have more uh, shapes in flowchart let me show you where you can get these shapes in ms powerpoint let me escape this uh, ppt okay so first let me add one more slide over here okay now we are going to show you how you can create a flowchart for your business or for your system okay uh, let me just copy these so that time not get wasted because if i create all these it will take a bit more time okay let me copy i have just copied i pressed ctrl c and here paste it here okay so i have pasted it here now let me show you how you can or where you can uh, get these shapes you just have to come here and here are the flowchart shapes these 
all are flowchart shapes although i have just chosen five which are the main ones but these are all flowchart shapes which you can use okay one by one and if find it pretty time taken that you every time you have to click here then select uh, any shape from this flowchart you can just do one thing you can just right click here press the right click let me click once okay once you if you find it that uh, it is very time taken that you have to click here and then you have to select the flowchart i mean the shapes in the flowchart section you can do one thing you just uh, come here and click right click press right click and add gallery to quick access toolbar once you click here your flowcharts will be added here as you can see directly so it is almost like same but yeah if you find it helpful then that's it okay you just have to click here and you can choose directly and you can draw like this okay so i hope it is helpful now let me delete this one because i need i don't need this one i need only these fives okay so first let me do one thing let me just organize these all fives here after organizing i'll create a new flowchart over here okay so i'll be creating a flowchart on office attendance system okay so first let me redesign these shapes so that we can differentiate differentiate a bit uh, i'll just change the design like this let's use blue and let's make the outline more wide like this okay then select the text and change the text color into black i guess it is looking good now okay then let me do the same with this one as well no color then outline color should be i guess green and the weight and then the text color should be black okay then this one no fill then the outline color will be this one in weight and then text same goes with this one as well yeah now it's okay now same go goes with the last one as well i'll choose black okay so our shapes are done now we have to create a flowchart so let's do one thing let's just copy uh, these shapes let me press control c then press control v then drag it here now uh, as i have already told you that this denotes start and end so we are starting a flowchart so press uh, add only start here then add process you can do one more thing as well if you want you can just uh, select the shape and press control button and once the control button you press the icon of your uh, cursor will be changed like this okay and you just drag the shape and it will be automatically copied and when the shape is copied you just have to drag and place the shape so like this you can just control your any shape or any content you want okay after adding process let me add decision in the same way you just have to select the icon first then press control then drag it okay and then after dragging it leave it here like this i guess these i have to add one more oh it is selected again let me select this one press control and drag like this okay 
Although you can use simple uh, control C and control V in order to copy paste. But this is a bit advanced if you want to be advanced, right? Then after adding decision, we need storage. After storage, we need and start stop. Oops, it's happened again. Both are selected. Let me select only this one and like this. Now I have to select all these. Uh, it is not selected. Okay, after selecting all these, can I make them a little bit small? Yes, it is. Let me select this, these all and now let me just change the content. Okay, so once you enter the office, you have to punch your finger in a fingerprint punching machine. Okay, so let me add just like this. Now it's fine. Then let me just make it first, then I'll make you understand. Okay. If they scan fingerprint, if they submit letter, then attendance, then end. Okay, let me add arrows so that we can denote where the flowchart is going like this. Okay. Then here. Then one here, one directly here and one more over here like this now uh, let me just add the text as well then i'll make you understand that uh, what is this flowchart is about okay what is happening yes let me just do the same thing Yes, and here we'll add no. Okay, so guys, the flowchart is ready now. Let me make you understand that uh, this is a simple attendance flowchart, office attendance flowchart. Okay, once the office is open, the employee will go to the uh, fingerprint pun punching machine where they can feed their attendance, right? Whether they are present or not. So once they are on fingerprint punching machine if they scan their fingerprint okay and it is validated then the attendance will be uh, the present attendance will be added in the data which is storage okay and if they are unable to scan their fingerprint then they have to submit letter okay and if they are successfully able to submit their letter which is yes then their attendance will be marked as present in the storage okay and if they are not able to successfully submit their letter then also their uh, attendance will be marked in the storage but it will be absent right so there is two conditions in the uh, submit letter option that if they are able to submit their letter then yes their uh, attendance will be marked as present in the storage section then if they are not able to submit their letter then if uh, then their attendance will be marked as absent but still their attendance will be marked okay then after the attendance is marked it is end so this is a simple flowchart process i hope you understood the process i wanted you to make you understand very easily i don't want to make you confused that's why i have chosen this simple flowchart okay you can practice these small and simple flowchart first and then you can uh, go to some heavy flowchart where you need some extra presence of mind and knowledge. 
So I hope you understood each and everything. If you still have any question or query, please comment down below. I'll answer those questions in the comment section itself. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you like the video. And if you do so, please hit that subscribe and like button. And we'll meet you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.